Canterbury led out by their skipper, George Papanis. This is the full team. Greg Brentall, Chris Anderson, Chris Mortimer, Peter Mortimer, Steve Gearin, Gary Hughes, Steve Mortimer, Mark Hughes, Stephen Folks, Peter Casillas, John Coveney, George Papanis and Jeff Robinson, coach Ted Glossop. St George led out by their skipper. And here's the full side. Brian Johnson, Michelle Sorodimi, Graham Quinn, Michael Beattie, Brian Johnston, Tony Trudgett, Steve Morris, Brad Buchanan, Graham Wynn, George Grant, Craig Young, Captain John Dowling, Pat Jarvis, Coach Roy Masters. The referee, Mr. John Gosher. Canterbury running from right to left. Barry Ross on the sideline. Yes, well, the wind's favouring St George. Uh, quite a strong nor'easter and very, very hot conditions. Not quite as hot as last week, but uh, already in the two minor grade games today, 88 points have been scored, and this shows how hard it is for the defence. All right, a change of possession. Canterbury in with the ball, and the referee is calling out... Pat Jarvis. Uh, just their side of halfway, Canterbury. Robinson. Oh! Literally like a wounded buffalo. Graham Wynn, there's a fight on now. Robinson's down on the ground here. It's developing into an all-in. Papanis and Dowling are having a go at it. On the right. Still going on the right. The referee having a great deal of trouble controlling it. Graham Quinn there having to be separated from, uh, I think, uh, Stephen Folks. Now here's Robinson on the charge. Did lift his knee slightly. Uh, Wynn came in with the overhead uh, swing. Dowling's been given 10 minutes. George Papandis has been given 10 minutes. Gary Hughes, Mark Hughes. Jarvis, good tackle. Gary Hughes, Robinson. George Grant stood his ground. Robinson's over the top end. Steve Mortimer, a little chip through. Johnson can't get to it. It's a try. Mortimer has come up, picked up the dregs of the error from Johnson and scored the first tie for Canterbury Banks Town. See it again. Parnas will have completed his... Uh, well, they will have completed the stitching and uh, his head. Coveney. Great kick, left footer from Mark Hughes. And that's again, tactically, territorially, touch judge in. Yes, well, uh, there was an incident between Young and Coveney then, and after the play of the ball, and you were following the ball, Rex Coveney uh, attempted to punch Young, and then held his arm. He's holding it now. I don't know whether it's a bite he's claiming. Or puts them back on attack. Excellent kick. And we'll see a replay of this game next Sunday morning. Just proceeding Sports World, which starts at 10.30, goes through to one. Complete comprehensive coverage of all sport with a large segment devoted to rugby league. Bretnall, dummy. Got the pass to Peter Mortimer, but he was tackled straight away. Papanis, Gary Hughes, spreading out to Casillas. Two. Wholehearted player. Papanis. Coveney. Last tackle coming up. Now they've got a couple of moves. Watch for Brentnell, the fullback, to come into a move here. It's for a kick. Oh, and he's got it! Brentnell's taken the ball out of Johnson's hands and scored a try beside the post. Oh, an unbelievable leap. Incredible leap, 10 mil with a kick in front to follow. See it again. Morris. Brad Buchanan. St George resorting just to bashing and barging here in uh, these situations. And what's wrong with two points at this stage? Morris. Still going. Strong little fellow. They've got him hung up over the line now. Pushing back two metres. All those players in front of the goal line were offside there. Ball on the ground, atrocious pass. 
Right winger Brian Johnson over in the middle of his centres. Craig Young. Craig Young. Oh, he's dropped the ball over the line. See it again. Actually got over the line and dropped it. It was a good... Chris Anderson. Caponis. Coveney. Caponis. Switch a player back across the ruck to Folks. Unloads nicely to Mortimer, then to Gary Hughes. Peter, Mortimer, back inside of his run across. He's cut the wide open, going hard for the corner. He's got support, gives it to Gearin. Gearin may go on with it. He gives the pass to Mortimer. Steve, and he's in for a try right underneath the post. Out of the blue, a marvellous try, a beautiful bit of combination between Chris and Peter Mortimer. And there's the attendance today, 16,195. Yes, I was 195 out. Dowling. Only two metres away. Can St George get a try and get back into this game? 17-0 they try. George Grant. Dowling. Could be in. Craig Young says he is. The referee says he is. After he's had a look at the touchdown. So Dowling comes up with the first blood to uh, St George and not before time, one would in 18. Dowling, Young, trudge it. Crisscross move from the tap. Nine yards out, Dowling. Win. Buchanan came on the burst. Dowling looking for his second. Cannon, Craig Young nicely back on the inside. Oh, that was close thing to win. Great tackle by uh, Baker, was it? No, no Stephen Steve Fox. Fox. There's a try outside Ernie. The defence just opened up there a little bit. Canterbury 17, St George 6. We've had 20. With uh, unofficial time of 10 minutes to go. Morris. He's had precious few opportunities today. There's a bus right up the middle by Jarvis. He could run and score here. He's going to. No, it's. Oh, he's lost the ball. Lost it backwards, and it's a try now. There was no knock on. When he was tackled, it was finally knocked backwards and Papona's snuggling the toss about that. But Bugden's the man that comes... Uh, safe football. That means no mistakes. Trudge it. St George all in a bunch. Jarvis uh, again getting his body through the tackle. He's done pretty well in the last ten minutes. Craig Young. Buchanan. And they're throwing their arms in the air there, wanting the pass. Craig Young belting along. Oh, there's a try to Jansen. Easy. And Craig Young's opened it right up for that one. A funny ball game, this one. Canterbury 17. St George 4. Our time. Need some calm heads out there at the moment from both sides. The held a pie if St George get up. There's the herder in the background. That's the end of the section. So a valiant effort by St George has failed by only two points. Canterbury failing, uh, not failing. Canterbury visibly wilting in the last 15 minutes of this game. So Canterbury 17, St George 14. Our award winner today, among many good individual performances, was Peter Casillas, the Canterbury Bankstown second rower, who I thought was quite outstanding in the context that he just gave a magnificent 100% performance in both attack and defence, and a very, very worthy winner of the award for today. Results of the other matches in today's round, Canterbury 17, St George 14.